All right, so this just came out of my truggy. It's been in there since, uh, hmm, Enats in Chico, which I think was two years ago. So we're going to open this up and see just how bad it is. Uh, it would have had 10K, and then at Enats, I would have switched it to 12K, which is what we'll put back in it again. As you can see, after all that time, I did have a shim in here the whole time. Uh, and then the back bearing has worked its way apart, and now all of our loose dirt glory. All of the bearings do spin free, but you can see the uh, shielding is pretty much non-existent. Front bearing is also super free spinning. So both of those are going to get changed out. Uh, we don't really have much of any wear on our out drives. This is the center diff, though the the uh, front and rear ones don't have a ton of wear on them either. But this is the one that's been in here the longest, so we're going to see just how bad this actually is. I'm sure it's really bad, but what we're hoping for is that it's just fluid. And so we'll have a lot of burnt fluid coming out, probably smell really bad, but what we don't want to see is a lot of wear in there. Now, being on loose dirt, I'm certainly constantly using my center diff a lot, but not being a basher, just an electric racer with it, it also never sees more than six or 10 minutes at a time. So it's unlikely to just melt itself out in the middle. All right, now it screws out. Let's open it. Seal is still good. Still has fluid in it. I mean, the fluid's obviously burnt. It's no longer clear, but uh, it's not horrible. Everything was moving very nice and free before I took it apart. Probably should have shown that. Um, there's certainly, it's certainly not full, but it's certainly not empty either. So uh, I'd say we did pretty good. Everything still moves good in here. Off comes the seal. Seal is still in pretty okay condition, despite being there that long. Normally I would dump all of this fluid out first, but Not too worried about it. So we can see all of our stuff and all of our gears here. And a lot of people have problems with this, but a needle nose plier like this going down in and then just being a little bit patient with it is usually the best way. Now, if I'd actually taken some of the fluid out, it'd be easier because the fluid forms a suction that bottom portion and also makes it harder to grab because well it's a lubricant okay so I'm gonna have to go empty it to, to do that or just leave it upside down for a while Still looks to be in pretty good shape here. So I'm not going to plan to uh, replace any of that. I mean, I'll clean it and re -lube it, but that'll be it. Meanwhile, this bearing. Yeah, that's definitely going to be going away. But just a cleaning and we'll be good. 
Hope everybody found that a little bit helpful. Um, there's a ton of videos on filling them back up, but uh, what we wanted to look at basically is this cup here and down in these grooves where the gears sit. We didn't want to have any side to side play. So just looking in there to make sure that there's no extra play and it does not appear that we have any kind of wear there on this at all, which is exactly what we hope for and expect. So if you did have that kind of wear, then you'd need to replace this cup. If your out drive was wobbling back and forth this way, instead of you know just spinning or moving in and out a little bit, if it were if it actually had side to side play, then you might need to replace either the out drive or the cup or both. Um, but that's about it. So now you know what to look for when you're doing some diff maintenance. And hopefully you do it a little bit more often than I do.